Hey guys, it's Farrah and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I know I haven't been on this channel for four whole months. So in a minute, I think in about 10 minutes time, I've got a lady that's gonna call me and she's a medium. She's gonna do tarot cards or some type of reading on me. Hello. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Good, thank you, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So I don't know if you know much about me and how I work or anything like that, no? No, no. I so, haven't. So I am like, no one's straight to the point. Right? Okay. So whatever I say, I'm going to say, is that all right with you? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. I if spirit come forward, they come forward. If they don't, obviously I can't drag them forward. You know what I mean? So yeah. Everybody is just so different. I never know which way it's gonna go. Think about your life, mm -hmm. all right? Think about what you've you've got going on. What sort of questions you've got? Put them in your head though. Don't say them. I want you to say stop. Okay. Okay. And that's when I'll put the cards out and we'll see what we've got going on. Are yeah. you all right? Stop. Oh. Oh, we're mid floor. What are we doing? I'm oh. going from the back. Look. And then what, do you want me to take them from the top? From the bottom. These are very mixed cards. You have got some wonderful power cards in here, mate. Tell me about you, okay? Now, the first thing um, that I can see straight away, and it stands out like a sore thumb, all right, that you have got a split personality, <laughs> all right? You have got two very, very, very separate sides to you. Yeah. It just feels like you've got this really, really, really gorgeous side to you that would literally do anything for anybody. You're very, very empathic. You're very loving. You're very caring. You have got a heart of gold. Like, I do honestly feel like you would help anybody in need. It's like you've got this massive split and you can be really, really quite hot-headed, all yeah. right? I feel like you're very, very feisty. You are very, very quick to judge sometimes. You don't do that the wrong way. Literally just say it as, as you see it, okay? And that will <laughs> get you into trouble. Yeah, it does. I try and get balance because at the minute, there is no balance here. Right. You are an all-or-nothing person, yeah. all right? Hands down. You are either living your best life or you are down in the dumps, like struggling to get out of bed. It just feels like you haven't truly found out who you are yet. You've got the claw there, which is like the luckiest card in the pack. Lady Luck is watching down on you. Like everything that you touch will turn to gold. Mm. Everything is going to work out amazingly well. There is money and abundance literally left, right and centre. I feel like you're building your own foundation. All right, I feel like you are just, it's a minute, you're starting off right at the bottom, okay? There's the um, the mountain card. Right. And I feel like you're laying these solid foundations, but these are solid foundations, okay? Mm -hmm. Almost like you're going to be, I don't know, the empress of your own castle. Like, you don't need anybody. But I honestly feel like the only person in this world that you want to rely on right now is yourself. And that is what you are doing. And over the next sort of three, four years, I don't know what it is that you are doing, um, but it feels like you're going to be doing two things at the same time where work is concerned. I'm a bit confused, right? So we have, so one is contracted, right? Yeah. It can be like a regular job, that's what we'll call it. But then it's like you've got this other avenue, right? That you could be very, 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 you look scared. <laughs> it's going to be this other area that is going to make you the money. Right. Right. And I mean a lot. Like I can see like thousands upon thousands upon thousands literally coming in and you are basically living your best life. There'll be a point in time where you can let go of this contracted job that is you being like the queen of your own castle. Okay, you're in charge of your own finances. Pulled out the temptation card. You have the personalities, all right, to sort of double and you need to be very very careful mm. all right this is kind of like a warning because you have got your health card here now like i said you are all or nothing right and you're one of these people that you, you might not eat for a, a couple of days and then all of a sudden it's like woohoo food but i feel like you're the same with other things so it can be drinking it can be drugs it can be gambling it can be men women whatever it, it's like you just become addicted to something does that make sense yeah so you need to just as soon as you can feel it getting out of hand 
bring it back. Once you get on that path with the wrong people, your life will turn to shit. Mm. Excuse my language, but it could easily go down a different path. Yeah, yeah. And the one that I'm seeing you on, and the one that I want you to be on, is this wonderful one where you're making your money, you're building your empire, you've got opportunities left, right, centre. I almost feel like there's going to be some sort of avenue to like stardom, stardom. So like being in the spotlight, do you like so people knowing your name. <coughs> oh, oh. Like on stage, it can be when you're known for I don't know doing something. It could be social media. There's all different avenues that could be. You know, it could be singing, dancing, whatever. Yeah. But I definitely feel like there is opportunities that are all around you. And they're, they're going to present it to you like over the coming months. So in the next three, four months, even you should know what I'm saying. But this second job, this is this is good. Yeah. <laughs> right. This is really, really good. Okay. So just go out there, girl, and live your best life financially wise. It's like people are literally throwing money at you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> There's other opportunities though. It's like going to be a bit of a detour yeah and that is where you're going to cash in good health on your side and like good physical health all yeah. right i feel mentally sometimes with you and all these different personalities you can be a little bit all over the place and your friends family will probably be a little bit like what are you doing mm. do you know what i mean yeah they'll be a little bit worried about you but you know you just need to get the balance right right but i feel like you need to get the balance right with you're eating i don't know are you like a snacky person do you yeah. snack because it feels like you're like a, a like a burst of energy so you'll grab something have a burst of energy do a few things and then yeah and then it's like right okay let's have some crisps or some chocolate and it's like you just go round and round and round in circles where if you had like a balance i know i sound like a mom but like if you had like a balanced you know meal in front of you three times a day you wouldn't need to be shoveling all this rubbish down yet yeah protected yeah heading in the right direction you need to stop worrying about what other people think this younger energy is saying you know she she cares too much and i know that you can't help that sometimes but you've got this strong stubborn stubborn feisty hot-headed side mm. and i just feel like you need to show that more and i feel like where the relationship is concerned like i don't know i feel like there's been somebody around you that is sort of being in and out backwards and forwards you've pulled out the dog okay <laughs> the loyal be faithful all right be nice okay um but sometimes you kind of think mm, could it be a little bit more i don't want you to settle basically is what i'm saying and i'm sounding awful by saying that to this person right but i feel like there's somebody in your life that you've had around you and you know that they're decent and you know that you can trust them and they can trust you and your friends it feels like it's more on like a friendship basis does that make sense yeah rather than what you're thinking oh i want to rip his pants off do you know i know man there's somebody else here for you somebody far better somebody who's going to come along and absolutely blow you out of the water you're going to think what and this person is older the wiser they've got money they've got a bit of sass they've got a bit of something you need somebody older you don't need a little boy i feel like that's what you've had and it's like no actually you need somebody that's gonna look after you that's gonna come in he's suited he's booted he's got his shit together right all right so i'm not gonna say that you're always oh, gonna run off with a sugar daddy right but I definitely feel like this person has got wealth. And I can kind of sort of see it yeah, over the next three years falling for this person and, you know, sort of like living happily ever after. But the person mm -hmm. that you've got around you now, honestly, like, I just feel like you need to make your mind up with friends, you know each other, you know, you past history together and something like that. And then it's like, oh, no, I can't be bothered now, off you go. It's unfair on him, it's unfair on you, because you're kind of stuck now. Yeah. It's kind of like, you, you go back to work, I don't know if it's when you've had a drink or when you've, you know, overindulged or whatever, but it's like, 
oh, I need a bit of safety. He's a safe person. Yeah. And you can have him as a friend. You can have him as a friend, but it's got to end there. Otherwise, you will not meet anyone else. And all right, and that is going to be the hardest point. You want the Chanel lifestyle, you, you're going to have to let him go. Seeing that you're a materialistic person, because you know what? <laughs> I don't feel like you are. That's the thing. I feel when it all boils down to it, I really don't feel like you are. I feel it's just what the kind of time or day you get yeah. caught on. You know what I mean? But yeah, you've got so much to look forward to. It's like, I, I cannot wait to speak to you again. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, like, yeah. Give it a good couple of months, I would say. Give it at least a year. Okay. And then probably by like this time next year, just drop me a message. You don't have to have another reading, but sort of just drop me a message and let me know how you're getting on. Yeah, Because it literally just feels like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Good stuff to come, but there's definitely this other business opportunity that you're missing. Right, Okay. Right. Know, thank you. So I don't, I don't know what that could be, but <clears throat> honestly, just keep your options, keep your eyes open. I don't know. I just feel like you're going to be in some sort of spotlight. Thank you. you. And you. Bye now. Bye. bye. <clears throat> I'll come back for a part two.